Hi friends, Hannah here with Oakland Studio. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a scrolling website image. Previously, I've shown you how to accomplish this using Photoshop, but today I will be showing you how to do it using Canva. So obviously the first thing that we need to do is get the element of our website scrolling to import into Canva. And to do this, we're gonna actually record. Now, if you have watched my previous tutorial using Photoshop, that is used with an image, a screen capture of your entire website that the, you then animate using Photoshop's animation options. But to do so in Canva, we actually have to have a video that we then import into our Canva um, graphic. So obviously step one is to record your video. So I will be using Nimbus. Um, it is a free app that you can install on your Mac. I'm sure there are gonna be plenty of other options for Windows or even other apps you can use on your Mac. So uh, just do a little research, find something that you can easily screen record. Um, but I'll be using Nimbus and that's N-I-M-B-U-S and it is a free app. So that's always a plus. <laughs> and because it is installed as an, um, an app on my Mac, I can just click in the top toolbar and it will pop down and I'm gonna click the record video option and I'm gonna do a custom size. So as you can see, you'll get this little, well, actually you may not be able to see, but you'll see a little dotted line that you can then grab to the um, size of your thing. And then I'm gonna select grab screen. And so now it's recording. So I'm literally just going to scroll down my website as smoothly as possible knowing that it's recording in the background. Sorry if this is boring. And then I'm gonna scroll back up. Maybe I wanna open my navigation, whatever you wanna record. And then you'll wanna stop that recording. Um, and then I'm just going to save this where it needs to be saved and excuse all the nonsense. All right. So now that we've recorded our website and scrolling and you can do whatever you want, you can jump from page to page, whatever. Um, as long as you're recording your screen, we're going to go into Canva and the size of the page doesn't really matter. Um, if you're using this on Pinterest, keep that in mind and do a Pinterest sized, uh, canvas if you're just putting it on your website whatever just pick whatever size you need or if you want it to be the size of your image add that so first you're going to need to upload the image that you plan to use i'll be using a template from moyo which i hope i said that right <laughs> um, anyway and so this is the the image that i want to use to have my website scrolling through. And I'm just scaling it up because you can do all that kind of stuff in Canva easily. Now you have your image in here. You're going to go over to elements and just scroll down and you'll see stuff called like frames and grids and things like that. Drag over one of these grids, just the square one and resize it to be the size of the screen that you will be importing your video into. And I'm just using my arrow keys to shift it up and try to get it to be, you know, in there perfectly. And for your sanity, I won't tweak it anymore. <laughs> All right. So now we have this. So we drag your video from wherever it is and upload it to Canva. And then maybe I could do this. Yeah. So as it's uploading, I need to see. Yeah, so I'm going to mute it because <laughs> I have myself recorded twice. So I'm clicking on my video, clicking on this thing here, and I'm just muting it because I don't want to hear myself talking about what I'm doing in my video. Um, so once you plop that in there, as you can see, um, it's going to play your video as it's scrolling through the image. Um, and that's it. <laughs> like I said, it's super simple. You can add text on here, whatever you want to add. Um, and then you just have to go up here to download and you're going to want to download it as an MP4. So if you're uploading this to Pinterest, if you're putting it on your website, whatnot, because it is already a video, 
uh, exporting it as a, a GIF is not going to necessarily work. So you're going to want to export it as an MP4 video and then click download. Uh, once you finish downloading it, you can upload it to Pinterest, your website, wherever you want to get this thing going. Um, and it will automatically play. You don't have to worry about it, you know, being stuck in this frozen state. It will be in a state of autoplay um, so that it looks like, you know, an animated video. So super simple. I hope this was helpful. If you have any issues or questions, please add them in the comments below. And of course, please like, please subscribe. Uh, the more you like and comment, you know, the more this video is going to be out there to help other people who need the solution. So thanks for watching.